first and foremost i want to give all honors and praises and glory belongs to my lord and savior whose name is yahweh bahasham yahabashai bahasham wahavaka kodash the name of the heavenly father is yahweh and his son's name is yahabashai who we reverence and double honors to the elder apostles of great milton and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe oh man this lesson is going to be called this is what we have you have to put off the old man you have to put off the old man we I always speak for myself first and foremost this is this is what happens when you don't put off the old man okay there's particular things that happen when you don't put off the old man start on wisdom of solomon and one love righteousness so us as men and lord we're supposed to love righteousness all right does this mean we're going to be perfect nope but we love righteousness so if you love righteousness you're not going to be for this world you're not going to have the attributes of this world. You're not going to try to make it in this world. Ye that be judges of the earth. And we're being raised up to be judges. So we can make better decisions. When it comes to the kingdom of heaven. Which is within us. Alright. When it comes to that kingdom being set up. Think of the Lord. You have with a good heart. A good mind. Not a bad mind. A good mind. Because if you're thinking upon your Havashai. With a bad mind. What's going to come out? wickedness evil remember what it says in a one bear me just a minute when it says um for the abundance of the heart the, from the abundance of the mouth the hearts from the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh so whatever's on your mind that's going to come out all right most of the time and in simplicity of heart seek him so it's not a hard thing you have just want you to seek him in simplicity for he will be found of them that tempt him not. Okay. And for some reason there's men that they just don't want to do the work. So you're tempting him. And show himself unto such as do not distrust him. So when you're distrusting Yahavashai. What you're doing is saying well. You don't believe that you're worthy. Look we all know that we're not worthy. But what do we do? We strive for Yahavashai. Show him, show him you are. Okay. Show him you're willing to fight. For righteousness, okay, to fight, all right, spiritually, I mean, as well, for forward thoughts separate from the most high, in other words, wicked thoughts they separate you from the most high. That's why you've got to have a good mind towards your Havashai and towards his words and towards your brother and his power when it is tried, reprove if the unwise. So, if you think you can step up in this truth and be malicious and be wicked to your brother. The words are going to end up what reproving you. Verse 4. For into a malicious soul. Keyword malicious. And I've looked this word up several times. Into a malicious soul. Spirit. Wisdom shall not enter. So this is what happens when you don't put off the old man. And brothers may be warning you. Bro. Stop. Stop doing that. Stop doing it. You have to stop. Stop. Stop abbering your brother. Stop having bad ill will towards him okay so again for into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter so wisdom cannot truly enter so when you ask yourself how comes men can't do videos and it's flowing and the scriptures are coming out how they should be because they have a malicious soul it's not hard to understand you go into that word malicious on the online ethymology it says in a spiteful manner there's such thing as rebuking but even when we're rebuking our people, it's not, it's not in a in a in a, um, a spiteful manner, and the intent should be pure. Okay, in hopes that your brother what repents, not in a spiteful manner, because you've seen men that have done that, and where are they now? They're in a worse state than before, with enmity or ill will, maliciousness, extreme enmity or disposition to injure. So that's, that's the spirit of Cain. You wanting to harm your brother. And why did Cain want to harm his brother? Because he's, 
Abel's works were more righteous than what Cain's. This is what happens, prompted by hatred. So there's certain men that are just prompted to do lessons. They can only do lessons if it's downing somebody else, ridiculing somebody else. There's times we, we have to get on our brothers, but then you lift them up. That's that balance. Reproof, exhortation, then we go into prophecy and different matters. But if every one of your videos is based on maliciousness, the Lord just strips your spirit away. And that would be very hard to do videos. Malicious, harboring ill will or enmity or hostility from malicious, showing ill will. Wicked, Latin militusus. So wicked. Okay, that's why your house is looking for sincere believers, sincere followers. Alright. Oh man. Wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in a body that is subject to sin. And that's why the scriptures say, offend less. But of course, you're going to be subject to sin. If you have a malicious soul, that means you're subject to what? That wicked mind. That's why it's always about self-examination. All the time, every day. Alright? For the Holy Spirit of discipline. Because that's what the Lord requires. You can't be in this truth without a form of a heavy form of discipline. Because the discipline we have in this truth is the highest form of discipline. The highest form. Alright, and that's in everything we do. Eating. Okay. Jogging, pumping weights, whatever you're doing. Studying, there's even a balance in that. When you're reading, even watching videos, there's even a balance in that. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit. So, the Holy Spirit also is discipline. Okay? Also deals with discipline. Okay? And the people of this world, they're not disciplined. So, if you want instant gratification, you're not going to be disciplined, are you? You're going to get fed up. Will flee deceit. So, that's what the Holy Spirit does. It flees deceit. Trickery. And who deals with deceit? The devil. And removed from thoughts that are without understanding. Alright, so that's what the Holy Spirit, eventually that's what starts happening. And guess what, you start leaking the oil. And you start waxing worse. And removed from thoughts that are without understanding. Because if you had any understanding, then you're not going to want to be malicious to your brother. Even if you, even if you don't get along with him. Alright. And will not abide when unrighteousness cometh him. Alright. For wisdom is a loving spirit. And will not acquit a blasphemer of his words. For the Most High, Yahweh Shai, is witness of his reigns, the mind, and a true beholder of his heart. So he knows every single thought. Even before you thought that. Every thought. And a hair of the tongue. That's why you've got to be careful about what you think of certain brothers. Especially the brothers that are doing the work. And now let's go to... That's why you've got to put on the new man. Day, it's, it's a daily thing. Daily thing. Romans 13 and 10. There's, there's some men who just can't get over things. Something happened, what, three, four years ago. No, oh, I still got a grudge. Don't you know the Lord will just strip your spirit? Have you out there looking silly? Have you, have you out there looking wicked? Forgiveness is powerful, I'm telling you. Mercy is powerful. And that's why the scripture says mercy rejoice over what? Judgment. Why? Because we're seeking mercy ourselves. This is what men don't understand. If they come in the truth, point the finger at everybody else. But when the finger gets pointed at them, what? Me? Yeah, you. What about self-examination? This Romans 13 and 10. Love, bear me just a minute. Start at... 8. Owe no man anything. Alright. But love one another. Okay. And you love your brother as yourself. You're going to do to him as you do to yourself. For he that loveth another fulfilleth the law. And I'm, talking, I'm not talking about that love. I'm not talking about that love of this world. Because the love of this world is fake. And love is fair. And fair is love. Okay. I don't even like using that word too much. Because people just throw that word around. For this, for this thou shalt not commit adultery. So if you love your brother, if you fear you have a shy, 
You're not going to sleep with his woman. You're not going to sleep with his woman. Okay. Thou shalt not kill. Okay. Thou shalt not steal. Alright. So you're not going to steal off your brother as well. If he, if he gives you some money and he tells you, bro, would you hand this money to this individual? You're not going to pocket it. That's stealing. Thou shalt not bear false witness. You're not supposed to lie on your brother as well. That's one of the worst things you can do. Because the Lord will destroy you. And he just strip your spirit away. Which has happened to many men. Thou shalt not covet. Covet goes into being covetous. Wanting and desiring something that belongs to another. And if there be any other commandment. It is briefly com comprehended in this saying. Namely thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. The second most important law. To um, love the Yahweh shall thy power with all thy heart. I want to stop. I don't, this word, I don't like using it because people throw it around too much. Love work is no ill to his neighbor, therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. So, you're going what? You're not going to be working ill towards your neighbor. You're going to be seeking. How can I build him up? How can I, how can I get him on a level on, that I'm on, or even higher? All right? So, bear me just a minute. That's why you have to put off the old man. Let's quickly go to. Where was we, where was we, where was we, where was we? Job 20 and 12. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth. This is speaking of Esau. But see, you don't want this to be you. Because remember what the scripture says. Ye of your father the devil. You don't want this to be you. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth. Though he hide it under his tongue. So that's what Esau does. He hides it. He doesn't tell you what he actually thinks of you. But then eventually it comes out. Though he spare it and forsake it not. So sparing it doesn't really want to say, but forsake if it not, so it's still within him, but keep it still within his mouth. Alright, so it's still within his mouth, that wickedness, and that's how, as brothers, you don't want to be that way. Alright, bear me just a minute. That's why the scripture says, put off the old, put off the old man, them, them niggerisms, and guess what, we all have them. But these men, that they come into the truth and they never did put off the old man. They never did. They never had any intentions of putting off the old man. So guess what? The old man, it catches up with them because you never pull it off. So if you've been in the truth five or whatever, five, six, seven years and you never put off the old man, that's going to catch up with you. It's going to be seen. Oh man, that, that see that nigger is leaking. Now you're just a, a full-blown nigger and everybody can see. And that's why another reason why you pray, pray for mercy. Ephesians 4 and 22, that you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. The former conversation was wicked. It was nothing to do with the scriptures. And if it was to do with the scriptures, it'd be your own worldly interpretation of the scriptures. But most, most time it was all something of the world. The old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts. The lust, the evil practices, the things we were doing in the world. So you, eventually you put that aside and you become what? A new man. And people can see that. That's something. And that's the beautiful thing about this truth. That's something you cannot fake. People can say, you know what? Yes, I see a change. He's changed. And when you haven't put off the old man, people can say, yep. Still a nigger. No, no changes. And this thing, it's not personal. It is not personal. Alright, it's not personal at all, that's why every single day you should be striving what to be better. So with this lesson I'm going to shut off here and until the next time, shalom to the hopeful elect, shalom.